Hello everyone, Max with A1 Website Pro here, and today we're going to be talking about query string parameters in PHP using the git method in PHP. So this is our beginner's guide to the PHP query string, query string URL parameters. After completing this lesson, you have a general knowledge of PHP's get function with the URL parameter. So we're going to break down the code a little bit, and we're going to use Google to do this. So if you go to google.com and you see right here, it says search Google or type a URL. Well, if I click on that and I type in PHP, you'll notice that up here there is a, uh, the URL changes up a little bit. Okay, so we have google.com, then it goes to their search page, and then there's this question mark. Okay, the question mark lets the uh, search engine know, or that the lets the program know that there is going to be a parameter and this is the parameter of Q and the Q equals PHP alright now when we want to separate the parameters we use the ampersand okay and then we set the parameter the next parameter is OQ and that is going to equal PHP and notice the ampersand again and the next parameter is AQS and that's going to equal Chrome something. Okay, so Google has their own parameters. You can see another parameter here after the ampersand. So you look for those ampersands, and you can see the parameters. And then there's the equal sign after it. Okay, so that's how that works. So that's if if it was just a single parameter. Let's just take out the rest of this. This is a single parameter, and you'll notice it pretty much gives us the same results. But that doesn't matter right now, because what we do down here uh, has, you know, it has a lot to do with what's going on up here. But this gets processed in a different, different way. And in PHP, this is called uh, a get variable in PHP. And so, but first of all, let's uh, go ahead and make sure that your Champ server is fired up. And we're going to go to General, and then go to Application, and we're going to go back to the my website that what we've been working on. For those of you that are jo just joining us, we're just uh, continuing on from where we left off. But so, so if you're experienced, this will help you as well. Uh, we're going to, go, going to go to our food page. Now, for us to set a parameter in this URL, we would start with a question mark, okay? And then maybe we can use anything we want, foo or whatever, but we'll, we'll use what Google used, Q equals foo, all right? So when we do that, nothing happens on this page. The reason for that is because we do not have a, a get variable set up. So let's go ahead and fire up our Dreamweaver or, or any type of editor that you're using. And let's go to our food page. I'm going to double click on it to open it up. Hit view. And so underneath uh, where we're bringing in the header, I'm going to start out with another PHP tag. And I'm going to type in dollar sign underscore and then capital G-E-T open and close uh, brackets with a terminator on it. And then I'm going to go inside here, put two double quotes, and then I'm just going to, inside there, I'm just going to put the letter Q. Okay? Now, in order to, to see this on the page, we need to type echo. We need to echo that out on there. So let's go ahead and hit Command S to save it. Let's go back to our page and refresh, and now you notice we're getting foo down here. Okay? Now, we can have multiple terms in a parameter as well. We would handle that in the URL. So if we go up here and put the plus sign, and we'll put do up there, foo plus do, just like so. And when we hit that, we see we have foo plus do. Usually, whenever we're uh, searching for a keyword phrase, you know, you'll notice that it comes up as a plus sign in the Google. So if I typed in Google, what is PHP, you'll notice, let's go ahead and look at the Q parameter, which is right here. Notice what is PHP, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and grab that what is PHP, copy, 
And let's bring it over to our foo.php page. And after the Q param equals parameter, we're going to go ahead and put that in there. What is PHP? And now notice we have right down here, what is PHP? So you're starting to understand, you know, about a single parameter. But what about a multiple parameter? Like I was talking to you about earlier, they put the ampersand in. Then the parameter, we'll make our next parameter the letter W. Okay equals and let's go do let's type in do now whenever I hit, I hit enter it's not going to show up on the page why well because I haven't instructed the PHP to grab the parameter of W so let's go to our Dreamweaver what we'll do is we'll grab this copy and we'll just paste it here and we'll type in the letter W right there and to give it some separation let's put in a, a BR tag some HTML command S to save it let's go back to the website refresh now you can see that we're getting the second parameter of W down here and if we wanted to add multiple terms we could go ahead and use the plus sign foo what is PHP okay and so we should see do what is PHP on the second line and so let me hit enter or return and we can see that there it is on the second line down there all right so that's how we grab query parameters but let me show you something real quick here if I take off the query parameter altogether and I hit enter or return now I'm getting an undefined index for Q right here and then I'm getting an undefined index for W so how do we handle that well I'm going to show you two ways the one way we used to handle the, how we used to handle it back in the old days and how we handle it now so let's go back to our food page in our Dreamweaver I'm going to go ahead and comment out this get Q and comment out get W and then uh, right below this I'm going to move the, the line breakdown and I'm going to open up another PHP tag and go ahead and close the PHP tag we used to do it like this if open parenthesis is set open parenthesis and then we type in the get variable open and close brackets inside two single quotes and then the Q and then go outside of the square bracket and then put in two parentheses just like that go outside the square bracket two parentheses and then open and close curly brackets with a terminator on the end and go inside the curly brackets and type in echo and then we'll put our get variable open and close brackets with a terminator on the end go inside the brackets put two single quotes and then put the letter Q alright now what is this doing it's checking to see if if the gear the get variable is Q parameter is set and if it is then it's going to go ahead and echo that out else it's not going to do anything we could put an else statement in here. We could type in else and then open and close parentheses and echo. Go inside the two single quotes and we could say not set just like that. So let me hit command S. We'll go back to the page and we will refresh it. And we could see here that it's not set. Okay. Now if we didn't want anything to show up there or we could actually just leave off this entire else line just like so and uh, let me go ahead and save that come here refresh and we can see that it is gone now let me show you the new way to write this in PHP 7 so I'm gonna comment this out in fact uh, I'll tell you what we'll put a comment block up here we're learning in our uh, last lesson old way of handling error okay this is an undefined index here handling undefined index 
error. Okay, and then we'll take this down and we'll comment that out just like that. Now let's go inside this PHP tag and I will say new way in PHP 7. So in PHP 7, I would just type in echo get oh, underscore get open and close brackets inside there, put two singles, two single quotes, put a letter Q in. But after the square bracket, I'm going to put in two question marks and then I'm going to put a space and then uh, two single quotes. I'm going to go inside my single quotes and put not set. Okay. So let me go ahead and save that and show you what it does on in PHP 7. Notice I get not set. Now you could note it in programming we always try to write the least amount of code. All right? So lesser code means faster applications. Now uh, unfortunately in Dreamweaver this is showing this as an error, but it's not an error. It is the way we write something like this in PHP 7 when something is not set. Okay? So that's a lot shorter than writing all of this up here. Right? Okay. Now if we didn't want anything to show in, you know, inside there, we can actually just get rid of this altogether. Hit save. Refresh. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgot the uh, quotes. So Got to leave the single quotes on there on the end. Just put, hit save and then refresh and now we can see there's nothing there. But what if there was something there? Well let's go ahead and define our URL parameter of Q equals hi plus sign there. Hi there. Okay now you can see that it that it's working correctly. All right, well, this is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope this uh, tutorial helped you out. And in the next lesson, we're going to be talking about forms because forms go hand in hand with URL parameters, especially in searches, like we were using this form on Google to, to search what is PHP. And you can see the URL syntax coming up there. Well, that's all done with the Git parameter and forms. So in the next lesson, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into forms. If you're enjoying these lessons, please like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do not hesitate to comment below or comment on the website. You will see the code examples. There's a link in the description of this video to give you code examples, and you can download all the files. So if you're just joining us and you want to start at this tutorial and move forward, you can download all the files that we've, uh, the, the current files that we have and then move on from here. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks.